Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs. My name is Phyllis, and if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to thank you for stopping by and ask that you please consider subscribing by tapping the subscribe button, click the bell and the select all to be notified of all future videos that I upload. And to my faithful established viewers, thank you so much for your continued support in watching my videos. Here on my channel, I share DIYs, home decor, Goodwill thrift hauls, and more. In this video, I will be sharing with you how I took old canvases of two clients of mine and recreated it into an inspiration that they chose. This is the inspiration of the one you just saw. And I practiced them first and the bottom is the inspiration the top is my version and here is a link if you're interested in seeing how this was created by the actual person on YouTube I'll leave that in the description box below and these are the second ones a total of five canvases that I recreated and this is the inspiration for those three and then coming up is my practice version and again, these are for two clients of mine. They are sisters and it's a total of five large canvases that I will be um, updating or changing the look. And if you're interested in seeing how this comes together, then just keep watching. Here I am in the backyard of one of my friends. Thank God I could find someone to um, do these. Um, a place where I can do these because these canvases were huge. I started with these two first and I used the length of the tall vase, I'm sorry, the length of the tall canvas to as a straight edge to just create a line in the middle on both canvases. Actually I did this to all five canvases. This Afro Barrel white paint I used on all five canvases and on each of them I did four coats of white paint because the colors that was already existing on the canvases would bleed through. So again I used this Apple Barrel white acrylic paint on all canvases and I did four coats. And then I took this black apple barrel paint and I used three coats of this on these two canvases. The white paint I used on both canvases, you'll see on the three canvases, her color she wanted was burnt orange, gold and off-white. I alternated the white and the off-white just so I can make sure it doesn't bleed through. Now, again, this is just the, no, this is actually the second coat of the white and black. So I won't be showing each coat as it dries. I'm just showing you um, it completely covered. And then the next clip you'll see is sharing how I mixed Flow trawl and gold paint to put in the middle of these two canvases. Now, what I did, I've never used flow trawl before, but on this canvas, I put too much flow trawl. I didn't do any kind of measuring. Um, I think I did a third cup of flow trawl and I used a whole bottle of the gold paint. And when I went to pour it onto the canvas and tilted the canvas, the paint started flowing real fast so I just laid it down and you'll see where I will be brushing the paint in a zigzag form and then just creating some like curly cues but here I'm mixing the paint and I'll be using the entire bottle so basically I used one bottle on each canvas and that's the gold paint I'm talking about see here I'm doing with the zigzag and when I lifted it up you couldn't see it because you the, the phone was facing the back of the canvas when I lifted it up it started flowing too fast so here I'm using this sponge 
to just create a zigzag and then I'll be just right here is where I'm just creating curly cues. So I'm basically just going out, you know, thinking from my head what to create. And then here I didn't show, I lost the clip here of showing where I sprinkled, but basically I just sprinkled the glitter on top of the wet paint. And you'll see I even did some little um, designs on the black. That is covering up what the detail from the other paint, which I believe was gold leafing. I use those, um, I don't know what you call it, some <laughs> indentions that came up off of the canvas. I used it to my advantage and just painted over and glittered over them. Okay, here, these are three paints that I had her purchase to create the color burnt orange. Kind of reminds me of the terracotta color because I couldn't find a burnt orange and I Googled how to create it and it stated to get orange, brown, and red and use more orange than anything because it is the dominant color and you see I'm mixing it here I already mixed it but I ran out and had to make it again and I didn't again I didn't do any kind of measuring I just guessed so I squeezed the orange and I did a little more brown and then not as much red and then mixed it together and what I did is I created it first and sent her a snapshot and a video just to get her approval to see if it was the correct shade of what she wanted for burnt orange. Okay, here are the canvases before I do the top layer of the burnt orange. And I will also be doing the bottom layer of the off-white, then white. In this clip, I didn't show the steps of painting these because this is the same process as doing the black and white. Here you see the first layer of the burnt orange because you can see the original picture through these. Again. I did four layers of the orange or the burnt orange and on the bottom I did off-white first then white off-white white and I did that alternating four times here this is the off-white and again I alternated so basically I did four shades of off-white and four shades of white because I wanted to make sure that none of the colors from the original painting came through the canvas. Now coming up, you'll see I've already did the glitter effect on these canvases because it's the same process as what I did on the black, except I just did longer strokes with um, the paint and the Mod Podge mixture. I didn't use Floetrol on this one, on this, but I did Mod Podge and paint together going back and forth and then sprinkled glitter and here it is finished what you saw first with all the glitter all over is i put it on there waited till it dried and dusted it off and this was the final effect of what it looked like this was a lot of work this these arts took me a total of three days and i would guess an eight hours each day because the painting in between each and the glitter in between each had to dry and coming up you'll see where I stood them up and you'll see a gloss on them so on top of the painting and the glitter and waiting till all of these layers dried I went on top of them with Mod Podge the entire painting from top to bottom including covering the glitter with Mod Podge so they can dry and then I sealed them with clear glaze spray and I'll put a snapshot of this spray that I use I got it from Walmart I had them purchase it from um, Walmart or wherever she got it from 
and I got my per uh, version from Walmart and I sealed in everything with it and again these are just these are the finished products of what I created again it took me three days and I'm gonna guess eight hours each day Saturday Sunday and Monday because I would start like nine o'clock in the morning and I would not be done to like five or six o'clock in the evening but I enjoyed the process and these were my very first clients and she really loved how they turned out and I was pleased at how they came out they were a big job to do because the size of the canvases were so huge but I'm glad I took on this challenge and completed it to the satisfaction of my clients. Okay, one last look of the befores, inspirations, and after. This is the before. Here is the inspiration picture that was sent to me. And here is my version of the inspiration. Okay, and here is the before of the two square large ones. And then coming up is the inspiration again. I will leave the link to this young man's channel in the description box below to this video if you're interested in seeing how he created this. And this is my version. I didn't do any gold leafing because I was not comfortable with doing that, so she accepted with me just using the gold glitter. I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. And until next time, bye-bye.